It has been 11 months of traveling through New Zealand, and last week we arrived in the Coromandel, exploring its beautiful beaches, hidden pathways, stunning cliff sides, and this week we're continuing the journey up the peninsula to find the iconic Cathedral Cove and other gems along the way. We have no time to waste, so let's go. So last night when I got off work, Rachel and I drove about two hours up north into the Coromandel to this beautiful little town called Hahe. Hahe is like this small little beach town, so not a lot of things were open, but thankfully there was like a little spot next to where we're staying that had burgers, so Rachel and I got a little bit of food. We went back to our hostel, which honestly just kind of feels like a cabin. We went to bed pretty early, but that just means we got up early, we had some coffee, and now we are here at Little Blue Kitchen to get some breakfast burritos and start our day. So let's explore Hahe. Yeah. Those breakfast burritos were honestly the best vegan breakfast burritos I've ever had, I'm not even joking. It's about a five minute walk down to the beach from our guest house. We are about to go to Cathedral Cove. So apparently there's a water taxi down here. You don't have to make a booking, you just show up. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're just showing up. The first booking leaves at 10 a.m. It's about 10 to 10 right now. So let's go figure this out. So normally you can walk to Cathedral Cove, but unfortunately there have been many landslides that have washed out the pathway. So the only way to get to Cathedral Cove is by boat, which is exactly what we're going to do today. It's only a five minute well, drive and boat ride. We're literally driving on, on, in a boat on the beach right now, about to go into the water. And it's just like five minutes to Cathedral Cove, so. Whoa, <laughs> this feels weird. <laughs> it's $80 a person, and so far, just, the, just going into the water alone is worth it. This is one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever seen in my life. This is stunning. I don't know if it's just because we came for the first uh, water taxi of the day. I don't know if it's because the pathway is closed. I don't know if it's a combination of all these things or if it's like this all the time. But we have the beach, like, you can see. There is hardly anyone around. It feels so exclusive. It feels like this exclusive, private beach paradise. And it's a pleasant surprise because even if there's other crowds here, it would still be beautiful. It'd still be a bucket list item. It's an it, it feels extra special that there's hardly anybody here. It's a beautiful day out, but it was a little bit cold when I left this morning. So I did decide to bring a sweater. And I'm glad I did because even though the boat ride's short, it's pretty windy. And if you're not here in like the dead of summer, I think the boat ride would probably be pretty windy for you. So I would recommend to bring a sweater. When we came back from Vancouver, I only brought one hoodie with me because we're only gonna be in New Zealand for like two more months before we go to India, which is going to be very hot and very humid. So even one hoodie, I was like, it's kind of pushing it, but we went to an op shop that was just around the corner from where we were house sitting. And I found this sweater for $1. And in fact, everything in the store was $1. <laughs> yeah, actually my other shirt, the button up that I was wearing was also $1. So there are no grocery stores here in town. However, there is this small general store which is just around the corner from where we're staying. So we are going to stop in and pick up some food before we continue on with the rest of our day.
We've just arrived at Hot Water Beach and I'm so excited, but it does say that there's a 24 hour parking machine. So we have to figure out how to pay for parking. I love traveling during like, I don't think it's quite off season. It's, it's probably shoulder season. I'm sure in the summer, this place gets super, super busy. And I guess that's the theme of this video. Travel in shoulder season, y'all. Anyways, let's go figure this out. At low tide, you can dig your own hot pool in the sand and watch as the naturally hot water bubbles up from the earth. So unfortunately, we can't just dig anywhere on the beach. It has to be near the rocks, apparently, which is over here. Oh, you can see the steam coming out. Well, that's why everybody's over here, clearly. So oh, I guess- It smells like sulfur. It does smell like sulfur. This is weird. <laughs> Holy, this is very cool. This guy's living the dream there. Feels cold. I know, like why are so many why so I don't know. Cold? Okay, so we've learned that there's like um there's gotta be a trick to it that we haven't quite learned yet because like sometimes you start digging a hole and then you feel in it and it's cold. And then so we actually just ran into our friends that we met um, earlier on the water taxi and they were saying they're like, oh we've been here for ages trying to find a hot spot. But you can see where some of the sand is bubbling. But it's just, there's loads of people there. So there's a little bit of competition to, to find the right spot. Let's figure it out. Oh, the sand is really hot right here too. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's actually like proper hot. Should we sit in it? Sure. I think it's too hot to sit in. Like, I don't know how people are just sitting in this. This is crazy. I fully see the steam. This is crazy. It feels like boiling water. <laughs> like, we can't sit in that. We can't even sit in that. It's like, it's like, it's so, so hot. So we're gonna try to cool it down. So we are here at the most popular time. Oh my God, that is hot. It is cool. You can see like all the steam coming up from these little pits that people are uh, digging. But it's very competitive here. Wow, it is chaos. Like, come with your shovel and be ready to start digging because there is no time to waste here. People are making holes left, right, and center. So just 20 minutes down the road from Hot Water Beach is Shakespeare Cliffs and we are here now. So let's go and have a look. We are back at the Hahe Eatery that we were at yesterday and got our burgers and today we got some pizza and I'm very excited to try it. Not a bad spot for some dinner, hey? If you can think of something better than pizza and Chardonnay on a beach, let me know, but it's feeling like one of the best things in the world right now. Cheers. Okay, so until this point right now, I always said that my favorite spot in New Zealand and the highlight of our time here was Doubtful Sound. And I think that is still one of my favorites, but I think that my number one has two places tied. And that's Doubtful Sound and this place right here. The Coromandel is fucking magical. Thanks for watching another episode of our New Zealand series. We are so sad that our time here will soon come to a close, but hey, we feel so lucky that we get to be here right now.